Well, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. I'm um, doing another test with these 155 grain. I had a couple questions I wanted to answer for myself, and I've also had a couple online that I was uh, thinking about. Uh, one is the lubing of the bullets. A couple people seem to be lubing these things now, and you're hearing more and more about it. That's one of the steps I do when I make these, and I think it's probably one of the reasons it works pretty well for me, is I lube them before the swaging process, so they already have uh, some lube on them. Um, so I'm gonna try that, but I'm also gonna try one other thing. You probably see something a little odd on the end of the gun there. What I did last night, I did a uh, nine inch extension. It's eight inches of barrel. Uh, I'm thinking with a barrel extension that uh, we're actually losing power out the barrel at 14 inches, that there's actually some more power to be had. So I thought I'd give that a try. Now, somebody asked me yesterday if it's rifled. Well, one that is doable, but you pretty much have to have a two-piece barrel that's keyed so the rifling continues on. That's way above my pay grade. That's not the sort of thing I'm trying to do. What I did do is create a, uh, a 457 reamed channel, so it's exactly 457. So the bullet leaving this should still have uh, the same size as the barrel to where the air can't get around it for the most part, and I think it's going to speed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try firing it with and without this to see what kind of speed we have. Uh, the other thing is the last time I fired this and people were asking about uh, why it was kind of at the slow end and asking about the uh, bar. Well, I've been putting it at 250 bar and uh, apparently what's recommended is three to 310. So I did do about 305 today uh, to see if that makes a difference. So I'm gonna give that a try. First off, let's uh, get this guy loaded. So it is now ready to go. We're going to give this a try. Uh, my target today is a Dell 3450, I believe. Uh, sadly, you can't uh, do anything with these old computers. They're just not worth anything to anybody. Uh, there's no resale market. We're not updating them, that sort of thing. So pretty much it ends up being salvage. So uh, its next step is scrap metal after this test. So I've got a Dale, I've got two inches of solid wood, and then I have a steel backstop. So, safety first. Okay, I'm gonna try two or three with this uh, barrel extension and two or three without. That's one. So that's three with the barrel extension. And uh, it's kind of sad. My best number is 613. That does not look great. So now let me try taking the barrel extension off. See what that does. Three more times without a barrel extension. Okay. Well, for what it's worth, I proved myself wrong on the barrel extension. The numbers I'm getting uh, without the barrel extension are quite a bit better. That or my barrel extension didn't do a good job of what I was hoping it would do. It apparently even slowed the bullet down a little bit. So my best just now, see if I can get it to where you can see this, was an 812. The three without the barrel extension were a 775, a 798, and an 812. I'm not saying the barrel extension failed. I think my barrel extension, the way I did it, failed. So my next step is probably to get a, a 457 Challenger barrel and see if I can get it to retrofitted to fit this gun. I still think that if I'm doing a... 18 20 inch barrel it's going to do better and that will be my next step but again uh 775 798 812 uh it was actually uh, speeding up as a well slow down here actually it was the 812 was the fourth shot so that's pretty respectable anywhere from 775 to 812 feet per second and that's rounds four through six so it had already fired three and uh finally let's take a peek at what it did Okay, folks, that just goes to prove that I am no expert at that. My camera just fell over. Okay, this is funny. It's actually 
attached to the back. Uh, it went through a strap or something like that, and it actually had it locked to it. So as you can see, it just ripped holes right through this, tore through. And if you ever had a laptop apart, you got multiple layers of steel, multiple layers of uh, aluminum, plastic, circuit board, stuff like that. And uh, it flat tore some stuff up. And then into the wood itself, tore some very nice holes. This one's into the wood, those two, the third one. Uh, yes, two of them even made it through. So we have two that made it through a computer and basically about two inches of wood. That's two by four with a half inch sheet of plywood on either side. And we have two of the shots that made it through a computer, through two inches of wood and hit steel plate. Uh, folks, that has got to be good enough. Uh, so there is one of them. And there is the other one. So having passed through a computer, two inches of wood, it got stopped by the steel. So I'm here to tell you, I still think the S45 is a really good gun and has a lot of potential. Sure, there's some bugs to work out, but uh, that is pretty powerful in my book. So next time I do a video on this, hopefully it will be with a uh, retrofitted Challenger barrel. So y'all take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.